Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death and welcome back to Season 2 of my Let's Play 7 Days to Die series. That's right, Alpha 9.0 is out. Along with... Randomly Generated Worlds. Alright! So excited! We're going to be using the same difficulty settings. Which is basically the default, except for no craft timer or loot timer, because people don't want to see that. Uh, we'll need a new name, since the seed is based on the name. Um, going with the seven days thing, we could do something like new Sabbath. But people might find that sacrilegious, so we'll just go with Death's Domain. I spelled that right. Um, we'll start this. And drink correctly from water using the second name. Fear some water sources may be contaminated and pose a health risk. How do we know? Oh, this is this is nice. I like this. This is awesome. This is really quite cozy. Um, cotton has replaced the white flowers, so we can use that to make cloth, I think. This is fantastic. I can already see iron and, what is that, coal? Yeah, I'm living here. <laughs> Found where we're going to settle. That is freaking awesome. We'll have to get some stuff though. We need a stick to start with. Stuff that we need to give us a stick. And some more of that. Okay, so we'll craft those. Get our stick thing going. Stone, I think it's something like that, that, and that. Whoops. And we just dropped everything. Because apparently we're horrible at sticking stuff in our inventory. Grab some more of these. I remember I needed a lot of them for something last time. Though I can't remember what. One of the downsides to this patch is the tall grass will regrow. I'm not so happy about the tall grass regrowing. I am happy about the normal grass spreading, but not the tall grass, because it kind of gets in the way. Let's chop down some of these trees to make our home here. And we'll have to find a bed roll as quickly as possible. I think we can craft one of those from cloth. I have to see about that. That may be what we have to end up doing. Only four wood? Let's see. Beds. I think that's probably maybe under tools. Fire, shovel, nope. Weapons shouldn't be under that. Food and cooking? No. Medical stuff? Cloth? Is that made from cotton? No, it's made from cloth. That kind of stuff. Furniture and decor. We could now make adobe bricks, which is something we couldn't do before. Nothing special there. Unless there's cloth somewhere. Nope. Maybe somewhere around here then? Cotton seeds, cloth fragment. Okay, so we need two cloth to make a cloth fragment. Which, how do we make the bed? Or can we make a bed? Maybe it's under this? An old bed. So we need metal for that. 
ladder, metal bar, rebar. Sleeping bag? Okay, that we can make with just cloth. That is what we'll have to work towards. There's some guys up there. We don't want to attract their attention. But we do really need to clear out this area of the trees. Someone coming. See if we can get this down first. Guess not. Nice stuff. There's no radar anymore. That's unusual. Those guys are freaking me out. We'll have to put a fence or something up there so that they can't see us. Break faster! Ooh! Oh crap, it's a fat one. We're going to have to run from the fat one. After we get our wood. I think maybe the noise of the cutting trees is attracting them. Bird's nest. More cotton. Need that. How much do we need? Just two cotton per thing. And how much was there? Two, three, four, five, six. So we need... 12, 13, 14 cotton. Assuming we get one per cotton. We have 11, so only three more cotton to get a sleeping bag. And then we'll be okay if we die. Which we're probably going to. Sneaky thing hiding there. Is that 14? It's 16, in fact. Um, where, what? Oh, crap, I screwed that up, didn't I? I guess you need to split those in half. Well, we have lots of cotton seeds now, though. Not that it's going to do us any good anytime soon, but once we want to have bandages, that will help out. That. Some scrap lead. Oh, we don't really need those, they just take up room. Ooh, more bird's nest. Should probably be keeping an eye on our out for stones until we can get a proper pick and start mining into that wall. That is going to make an excellent mine. An eye out for more cotton, though. Well, you're not very happy, are you? Hmm. Okay, there's some cotton. At least we're dragging them away from our home. Our future home. Looks like there's a couple of empty stumps up there. Or hollow stumps. Loot distribution is a little bit odd. I mean, you have two of these right next to each other. Maybe their loot distribution thing needs a little bit more work. Which wouldn't be surprising. Grab another stick. At least those are easy to get. Okay, we'll probably have to break some of those to get enough iron to start with, because I really don't want to be mining the raw iron ore with this stone axe. Lots of this. We haven't seen any blueberries, though. Where is it? Fifteen. There we are. Cloth fragments. Craft.
sleeping bag. Excellent. Now we just gotta hope that we know how to get back. Which I think I do. Is that a lake? Oh, that is fantastic. This is an awesome place. Goes way out over there. This is just fantastic. How deep does it go? Whee! You can see the water debuff, the underground or the underwater look thing, the particle effects from being wet. Let's head back home ish. I guess we can look on our map. Okay, it's right there apparently. We are going the exact wrong direction, and this whole place is just surrounded with water. This is awesome! I love it! I wanted to live by water. I do, in fact, live by water. Uh, this way now? Looks like there's maybe some... Desert? No, that's just a map. The fog of war. We'll grab some more of that. Haven't found any food, but we can hunt some deer or something if we really need to. It's too bad you can't fish, though. Maybe they're all zombie fish or something. Just straight this way. Oh, that was a little bit strange. What about you? Scrappy stuff? We'll need to probably grab some sand from out there. I'm not sure if cloth armor really does much. But we might make some of that too. Now that we can, grab all these rocks. We'll use them to make crossbow bolts. Wow. Just look at that. Man, this is such an awesome fight. Can we see what's over there? They all look like the same rock, though. I think we'll continue breaking out our area. Let's kill this guy, though. Thank you for breaking that for me. Well, what we left to get. Let's clear some more trees and then we'll see about setting up a quick little place. What is that? Is that clay maybe? Or is it dirt? It's hard to see. I think that all might be clay. Which would be excellent. This is really just such a great start. We'll chop down this tree and then place our sleeping bag. They also said one of the things is when you place a block, the terrain will now snap to it. Which is something that I'm glad to see. So we'll just plop this right here. And does that count as our home? Yep. Excellent. Perfection. Let's chop down some more trees. One thing you can't see is your damage percent now, which is not good. I'd like to see that. But we still have plenty of time to build a home. I would really like a better axe or something. I think I'll build it a little bit further away from the deposits because we'll want to dig into that. Somewhere on the water, actually. Maybe just like right here. It's just going to be a starting area. And we'll expand it later. As I mentioned last season, I want to build like a big giant mansion. And we may have one overlooking the water right there. Something built on that cliff face. Overlooking the whole water area would be pretty awesome. I think we're chopping this down. Apparently 
Okay, so hopefully we get more seeds from trees now. That was one of the things that was a bit lacking in the last version. There's maybe two trees here. We're not losing as much stamina. Not from ch chopping trees, anyway. Um, only 28 wood, really? Not very much. We'll have to start with a small thing and I guess work our way up once we get the proper amount of metal and everything. I'll chop down to... I say I'll cut trees for another... Two or three game hours, and then I will be right back. Because y'all don't want to watch that. Now let's work on building us a little home here. So we'll need some... Planks. And a circular thing, square thing here. For... Wood frames. 30 to start with is fine. We'll make some more of those though. Probably didn't need that many. 30... Say 16. More should do. And I've done a little bit of clearing around here. Let's see what we can do. We'll build something relatively small to start with. Let's actually clear out some of this uh, grass. Might be enough. Except the people are now in the way. I don't know why he didn't react to being axed in the head. Alright, so let's see. These are supposed to... yeah, okay, so the terrain now snaps to these. Which is much better. I think we'll go up... Probably do something pretty minimalistic first. But I think that is pretty minimalistic there. Maybe that wide? We just really need something to hold. A, um, chest. Can't we place that? Strange. Maybe that lady's in the way. Yeah, that was what the problem was. Oops. Okay, uh, we have a little bit of time, but not much, so we don't want to dally too much. Okay, that's an interesting way to do it. I guess we should have probably smoothed out the ground before we went and did this. Let's go ahead and place these. That should work. Going to need a few more. Not that many. Mm, 24 might be good. Let's look kind of strange with how it's flickering in the wall like that. And of course it's going to be flat on top. Not going to have a proper roof for this version. I would maybe like to do something that was easier to break later. But I don't think we really have that option. And 
And let's see, right here I guess will be the door. And then we can just use this to start building stuff. Guess we should probably make some torches. Would seem to be a good idea. One there, and one there. And then we should be fine for the rest of this. Hopefully they can't see down through there. I may break that and then redo it. I think that's what I'll do. Is dig out here. Just to make sure that we close that gap. Um, that did not work so well. We'll have to come back and do that, I think. We'll get the walls done first. It's getting a bit late. Come on, faster. At least we have enough wood, I think. I'm not sure if they can see through the corners if we don't repair them. We still need to make a door, too. If we want to fix this one. Need to get that house thing. The repair tool thing. So that this doesn't take so long. Whoops. At least it doesn't use durability. These are a lot tougher than the log cabin would. Or at least they used to be. Not sure if that is still the case. Looks like we're still going to have a few hours to spare. We should be able to polish this off. We'll go ahead and put a couple more torches in the back here. Might do some mining. Or probably not, because I don't want to blemish our terrain just yet. But I will dig out this. If I can. Let's go ahead and eat. I guess we can't drink because we don't have anything to drink. But that'll give us a little bit. Hmm, this might be difficult to make it through the night. Give us some water, though. Have to pull that. Okay. Finish off this little corner. Let me do this and I will be right back. Finished. So our box is now completely done. The blocks stack are snapped to the um, train, or the train snaps to the blocks, but not the reverse. And of course we get tall grass thing. It apparently doesn't check to see if it's in daylight either. So we'll do a door. Lock it. Break these. Maybe just completely get rid of that. See how that looks. Uh, what else? We have a chest. Which we'll put back here. Start unloading some of this unnecessary stuff. Well, I can do that off camera. 
but it's almost pitch black. I guess we could see if this is clay. It looks like clay. Fertile dirt. Nope. Our sleeping bag will leave. We'll check this and see if it is clay. That is indeed clay, good. We don't really need much clay, but a little bit would be useful. Alright, now then, we'll want a campfire. Which is under. Can make lumps of clay now. Maybe here? Yeah, there we are. So, just some stones. Craft. And I believe to forge stuff. We still need a steel tube. Or steel pipe. Okay, there. That's a good spot for that. But we can make the water. Um, why can't we make the water? Because we don't have any cookware. Oh, crap. Yeah. Well, that is not good. Hopefully we don't get dysentery. Fake chance 100%. Well, that's not good. We'd have to make goldenrod tea to clear it up, which we can't make. Hmm. We just have to get by with dysentery, I guess. Maybe we'll go away before it gets morning. But that is going to be it for this episode. I'm probably going to make some crossbows crossbow and crossbow bolts over the night and organize my inventory and when we come back we'll set out and hopefully find an iron pipe or steel pipe so that we can make a forge and can continue setting up this area like if you like subscribe if you're not leave a comment if you have anything to say I do read all the comments thanks for watching and I will see you Next time!